Hello everyone. So I've been making Sims 4 educational content for quite some time now and I see in the comments people having issues with their mods and generally it's the same few issues happening again and again and they have very simple fixes so I just wanted to make a video with the top three that I see happening and give you those simple fixes so that you can get back to playing your game the way you want to play your game. This first one may seem like a no-brainer, but it's actually a really common oversight and even really experienced sims and mod users overlook it. So open your game, especially after an update, open your game, go to options, game options, other, and make sure that both of these boxes have a little green check mark. After an update, sometimes they get disabled. So I'm going to go ahead and click those. It's just letting me know that I will need to restart my game for the changes to take effect. So go ahead and apply those changes and restart your game and see if your mods work. If not, go to the next step. The second problem you might be coming up against is that you don't have an XML injector for a mod that requires it. Some mods don't tell you very explicitly that you need an XML injector for the mod to work, so you'll get like half functionality and your mod will just be totally busted. If you are using mods, you should be using an XML injector. So I am going to show you how to find that. It is this first one, this Gumbumbo XML injector, and there's just an easy download right here. If for some reason you're having issues with downloading the XML injector, please let me know down in the comments and I will happily show you. The last problem I'm going to talk about is actually a really common one, and it's just that your mod is actually buried too many folders deep within your mods folder for your game to find it. So. It all depends on how the mod creator packages their mod for you as to whether or not you're going to have to go in and actually pull the mod files out from a couple folders deep or if you can just download it, unzip it, and move it to your mods folder and go. I'm going to show you two examples of mods, one that is ready to go as soon as you move it over to your mods folder and one that you will have to do some moving around. So I'm going to use MC Command Center as an example of how your file should be and Wicked Whims as an example of how your files shouldn't be. So I'm going to just go ahead and install MC Command Center as normal. If I've lost yet the installation process, go to my page and check out um, the mod installation tutorial videos I have. They're very beginner friendly. So once you've moved your mod to your mods folder, go ahead and double click on that folder and make sure that there's no folder within it. As you see here, there are just script files and package files. This is perfect. These script and package files are actually the mod files and as long as they are only one folder deep within your mods folder you're good to go. Now let me show you how your folders should not be. So we're gonna go back to the Wicked Whims mod now and install that so you can see how your files should not be arranged. So once we have moved that mod folder into our mods folder double click and make sure that, oh, there's a folder inside a folder. That's going to be a problem. So remember how I said that your script files and your package files were the mods? Like those were actually the mods? These, these are not the mod. You don't need these. The mods actually one folder deeper and here are your package and script files. So we really shouldn't have to be going inside a folder, inside a folder. In a case like this, you'll want to find the folder that has the mods in them, highlight and copy, and then deposit that folder into your mods folder. And then get rid of this extra shell folder. So now when you click on the folder, 
there's not a folder inside a folder inside a folder inside, you know. It's just the package and script files right inside that folder. So you can now see that the MC command folder and the wicked whims folder both have the package and script files right inside of them without an additional folder. If you are still having issues, for whatever reason, I don't know, mods are kind of glitchy, you can always extract, not extract, that's the wrong word, you can always pull out the mod files themselves, copy them, move them right into your mods folder, and then delete the, the additional folder. And do that with the MC command center too. Copy all of them, then move them straight into the mods folder, and then delete the, the, the shell folder. And it's messy because all of your mods files are just right here in your mods folder. They aren't organized well with like subfolders, but if you're having issues and you just want to make sure, this is a surefire way for your computer to find those files. Down to the left is a very beginner friendly mod installation tutorial video if you need that. To the right is some cozy Sims 4 content if you're into that. And in the middle is where you can subscribe if you feel so inclined. But please leave a comment. I really love the feedback. Thanks guys.